gonna say. Hello everyone and welcome to Jay Sanchez Beauty. Uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to get this look right here. It's a smoky, sultry, not that difficult, um, just requires a lot of blending uh, look. So if you like what you see and you wanna learn how to get this look, just keep watching. I'm gonna start with some primer. Uh, today I'm gonna be using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I actually got this in a boxy charm. Can't remember how long ago it was, but I've really been enjoying it. It's not my favorite blurring, blurring primer, but I think it really works. It helps uh, really fill in pores and give you kind of a smooth canvas to work with. All right, and for foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. Uh, it's a foundation and hydrating serum, apparently. this I mean uh, it's not like super hydrating um, but it definitely feels like it's giving my skin a little something extra and the coverage is pretty nice too I mean for concealer today we're gonna be using the covergirl true blend undercover concealer uh, I'm gonna be using the shade porcelain thing about the drugstore, I feel like every time you go, oh yeah, this is pretty light, probably could have gone shade darker. Um, when it comes to buying like foundation, concealer, uh, powders, things like that, it's kind of a guessing game. Definitely applied too much. <clears throat> Today we're going to go in with the uh, Wet n Wild Contouring Palette, the Mega Glow Contouring Palette, if I can get it open. And then to set the rest of the face, we're gonna go in with the Milani uh, Translucent Powder in 04 Radiant. Um, I like things that make my skin look glowy because I feel weird if I don't set foundation. Um, but again, I have dry skin. So I prefer to look a little bit more dewy and glowy. Bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Milani 
baked bronzer in 05 Soleil. go back in with this same Wet n Wild uh, contouring palette duo. I'm just going to take a small brush to kind of chisel it out just a little more. in with that uh, highlighting powder just dab a little bit on the center of my face and really just blend it all out for blush today I'm gonna go in with these Milani uh, rose powder blush trio in floral fantasy I mix these two shades right here the lightest one and the medium one I'm having issues opening things today. <laughs> uh, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlight in Champagne Pop. Since I'm really, really glowy today, I'm kind of just dusting a light amount of this highlighter, which is why I'm using a larger brush. Um, I'm very glowy right now, so I don't want to like put on a ton of highlighter and then it would be too much. But hey, if you want more glow, more power to you. Alright, I'm going to go in with brows now and we're going to use the NYX uh, Fill in Fluff Eyebrow Pencil in Ash Brown. Cosmetics, uh, Rena Del Cabrier. Rena. It's sad, but I can't pronounce this considering I'm Spanish. The Alamar Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. We're going to start with the orangey color. Uh, it's called Coco Taxi. We're going to just blend that all over the crease. Just kind of use it as a starter shade. this deeper like burnt orange type color I'm 
I'm bringing this all the way in, covering my whole crease, just keeping it a little bit lower than that first shade we used, just to make sure everything is nice and blended. back in with that first shade and just these kind of circular motions and windshield wiper motions just to really get that all blended out. All right, now we're gonna take the shade Guantanamera, this uh, magenta, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, magenta, deep plum type color. Um, not plum, like a deep magenta. We're just gonna take that even lower on the lid. I'm kind of packing and then blending into the uh, two more orange shades that we've applied in the crease. Looks a little crazy now, but uh, the goal is that the end product looks good. <laughs> that process with the darker orange and the lighter orange and then uh, touch up the magenta shade just to make sure everything is as vibrant and as blended as I want it to be. I'm gonna go in with uh, Cafecito, this brown shade right here on the bottom. Uh, we're gonna take that closer to the lash line and then blend it into that magenta color. shade and just really make sure it's blended into that brown. Right now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take that same brown shade, just get it right up against that lash line, take it about two thirds of the way in. Taking a small pencil brush and just really keeping it nice and close. I'm gonna go back in with that magenta shade Just really blend it out so it's not too harsh.
the inner corner, we're gonna go in with the shade La Costa, right here up top. Uh, it's a beautiful light uh, pinky champagne uh, sparkly shade. I love a good inner pore liner highlight. I feel like it, personally for me, my look is not complete until I highlight my inner pore. <laughs> And take that same shade. Try this. Take it right on the brow bone. For mascara today, I'm going to take the NARS Climax mascara. Last but not least for lip today, we're going to go in with the ColourPop uh, Lippy Sticks in the shade Lumiere. I am someone who prefers like a, something that dries down just because uh, I don't want it to transfer, but I really do. I've been trying to open up more to uh, different types uh, of lips and I really like the Lippy Sticks. Everything down, I'm just gonna take my Scandinavia the makeup finishing spray and set it all down. That completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. You can also follow me on Instagram at jsanchezbeauty. And I hope to see you back soon. Bye!